UTV News and the Academic Language Center presents a new English blog in order to support the bilingual English project of the UTN University. This time I have the opportunity to interview one of my co-workers. His name is Tim Cahill and tonight we're going to talk about a very interesting topic. Hi Tim, it's a pleasure to have you in Voces Contexto Informativo News. Okay, thank you very much Veronica. I'm happy to be here. We are happy too. Well, tonight we're going to talk about a project that Tim Cahill and Javier Burgos and of course hundreds of students were like kind of working on. So it's about um, foreigners. Why foreigners come and live and want to live in our country? So explain a little bit uh, to us what's about. Oh, okay. Uh, well, first of all, um, living in Cotacachi, I know that there are many expatriates that live there. And uh, our director, uh, Dr. Congo, asked us to prepare um, a project for the exposition uh, for the junior researchers. And um, also uh, something that would promote bilingualism here in the university. And there is a particular question that has come up in our minds, and that is why exactly do expatriates come to Cotacachi in Bobora? What do they like about it? What is the the, uh, the principal reason? And this more or less was the whole purpose of the of the project we did. Actually, there were like uh, 200 uh, foreigners involved in this uh, survey. And uh, the survey is about residents, culture, cost of living, climate, uh, location, and of course, positive actives, uh, I'm sorry, po positive um, stuff about our culture. So explain a little bit to us what it was the survey about. Okay. Well, first of all, the survey was uh, divided into two parts. Uh, the first part was composed of 10 categories with over 80 items and the purpose of this was for the people who were surveyed to indicate uh, whether their feelings about the item were either positive, negative or no preference. And then we had uh, a second section in which they stated the three uh, principal reasons why they feel in Boborda is a nice place to live in. Uh, so this was uh, the information that we had in the survey and uh, we explained this to the students what the survey was about uh, we had uh, practice sessions with them mm -hmm. how to approach ex uh, expatriates okay. and also we gave them maps of Kotakachi so that they would know where to go to f uh, have the surveys filled out this new tone uh, project is a very interesting activity for students and teachers involved and uh, we want to know why was the reason, what's the main, uh, I mean, objective in doing this kind of survey? Yeah, the main objective was to definitely put a finger on the exact reason or reasons mm -hmm. uh, why foreigners want to live here in Imbo Border. Okay. And uh, we had done some research, we went to the internet, uh, we also uh, read some magazine articles about why people, especially uh, people who are retired go to other countries to live and there are very many reasons but okay. exactly why we weren't sure so this is uh, basically the the main reason for the survey. Okay let's talk about results. Yeah well the results were excellent first of all over a hundred students participated okay. and they were able to obtain 250 surveys Okay. and uh, the results were quite gratifying uh, in all of the areas and all of the items there were more positive uh, than negative evaluations. So every item was positive. No items okay. were negative, okay? And among uh, these uh, particular categories, uh, I have this uh, sheet here with me that shows you that uh, it, among the preferences, uh, first preference, second, second preference, and third preference, people. Okay. People was the number wow. one reason. So this means that the people who are, uh, being friendly, outgoing, warm. This is, this is the principal reason why expatriates like Ecuador and Nimbo Borda. And the second reason was climate, because we have a beautiful climate here. Okay. Uh, secondly, the low cost of living. Okay. And then we came to uh, nature, the of mountains, course, the, the lakes, exactly, mm -hmm. the relaxed way of life. Uh, which also includes the culture, which is the food, uh, the traditional dance, the emphasis here in the country uh, on culture. So okay. these were the very excellent results that we had, and, uh, and the they're last conclusive. One? Okay, the, the worst, which one was like the, last, the lowest? Yeah. Uh, 
Uh, well, uh, police protection was, mm -hmm. it scored it scored positive. Okay. But it Got did it. not get as many positive votes as some of the other categories. Okay, to end this interesting topic, Tim, we know that you are from another country mm -hmm. and there are a lot of people who came and uh, live in Ecuador. Mm -hmm. So maybe people who recently came. So I want you to give a message to them, please. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, I would say to these people that uh, Ecuador is a, a wonderful country, uh, the people are very beautiful, uh, the country has a lot to offer, and uh, that I think that the vast majority of people, if they had to choose a place to live in the world, that they should definitely consider Ecuador. I want to thank you so much for being with us, and uh, to all our friends, stay with us.